you could find an answer. So it's not just a number sense. Ooh, so what does this number sentence right here, what does it say it equals? X. X. So, so find what X is. Right. Well, in both of you, both of these, you have to find what X is, right? But this one, is X with anything? No? All right. Can you guys take out your headphones because we're in class now? So those should come out. So X is not with anything else. It's already alone. This is the big, um, the thing I want to drive home the most, okay? In this equation, is something happening to x? Tyler, what's happening to x in the equation down here? Yeah, I'm subtracting 2 from it, okay? So something has to be happening to the variable in order to call it um, an equation that we're going to solve, okay? Because this easily, we don't need to do any opposite operations, right? Because we already know that x is by itself. We just need to add 2 and 2. We know that 4 is equal to x. But with this one, do I have to do something opposite? What would I do to find? Not division. What's the opposite of subtraction? Oh, that's addition. Oh, sorry. Addition, yeah. So you're going to have to add 2 on both sides, okay? This is what's going to bring x down and make it by itself. So now we have 2 plus 2 equals 4. So it's obvious that both of these x's do equal 4, but one of these is a number sentence where you don't have to do anything to x. One of them is an equation where you do have to do something to x. Emily, okay? Yeah? Okay. So we're going to do Charlie's problem together um, because one, his is a two-step problem. And it's, we're going to practice writing an equation rather than a number sentence, which both of you guys actually used. So I really want to tell Ty to come back to class today so he can do it with us. So when he comes back, I'm going to ask you, one of you guys to explain to him what the difference is between a number sentence and an equation, okay? Sound good? So in the meantime, though, what I want you to do is think of how you can change your current equation for your problem into an equation where something has to happen to a variable and where you have to have a variable, okay? So the question that you're trying to answer should typically be the variable. Make sense? Okay, so try on working on your individual problems, okay, on making it an equation. So something has to be happening to the variable. So Malachi, if you could take out your homework from last night. Shoot. And I'm going to ask you to take out your headphones for the rest of class. Try to change this one so that we have an X somewhere. Okay. We need your unknown variable. Okay, cool. So Malachi did the same thing. So I'm going to give them a little moment. Okay. And Malachi, if you look at the board, we briefly talked about number sentences and equations. Okay. So what you have is a number sentence, which they also had. That was my bad. I guess I didn't explain that so I left it to me. So we're going to walk through and kind of reformat the math that we're going to do. So you see how x is by itself? So what can we do? You can actually just move something on this side, right? That would give you a total of 452, because that's the total, right? So typically total is the end point, right? What would have to happen to x to figure out? Tyler, can you explain to Malachi what the difference is between a number sentence and an equation? Number equation they both have x, but what's the difference? They can swap. What do you mean? Addition and subtraction. Um, right here, yes. Yeah, so we're doing inverse operations. 
So now, if I you look up here, I want you to connect that in an equation, an operation has to be happening to x. So do you see how x has minus 2 after it? All right. Up here in this example of the number sentence, is anything happening to x here? No. Nah, bro. Okay. So this is a number sentence, which most of you guys did on your homework, which is okay. So we're going to practice taking these word problems and turning them into equations where something is happening to x. All right. We're going to start with Charlie's because he's not here. Sad day. Um, so can someone read the problem out loud? Sure. Thanks. Charlie spends the weekend shopping with Gucci and Charlie Bob. Well, if Gucci, Charlie Bob, a pair of slides that cost two ten, and some belts that cost each four fifty, if you spent one thousand one hundred and ten, how um, in total how much was each belt? Good. Okay. So we have some items, and we could easily add up all these items together, right? But what is the question we need to answer, Emily? How many belts did you buy? Okay, thanks, Malachi. How many belts he bought? So that's what our variable has to represent, okay? So I'm going to put, you could use B for belts, or you could use X. I'm going to put X here. Now, we talked about word problem strategies in our notes. So let's circle the important numbers. What numbers can I circle, Tyler? Four. Tyler? 450. 450. And what else? 210. 210. Anything else? 1110. Yep, 1110. Good. Okay. So those are our three numbers. Now, we also talked about math action words or like keywords that represent operations. Emily, can you point out at least one of the words that represents an operation in this problem? Can you give me a word that appears in this word problem that kind of indicates what operation we should use in our equation? How much is part of our question? Would you have the video feed box? I am, it's gone. Bought is a good one, and actually could also sometimes be used as an addition word. Oh, I didn't want to circle that. I wanted to box it. So we box, and there's one more word here that's crucial to our equation, and it actually represents equals. Oh, there's two more. There's two more. Then. Each is one of them. Now there's one more. This word begins with a T. It's important. Total, okay? So total typically is the end result, right? It's what something has to equal when I combine it, when I buy it all. Does that make sense? Yeah? Malachi, are you with me, man? Yeah, I think so. I think we need to G-lock it again. Ready? Do this a good one, though. That's a good one. That was a really good, like, clap. Okay, so if this is in total, where should 100 or 1110 go? Should it be, should something be happening to it? Or should it be by itself on one side of the equation? Like, how much is all? Right, so all together, whatever's going to happen to x, it has to equal 1110 bucks. Facts. Facts, okay? Because Charlie's got deep pockets, okay? All right, what does X represent again? Um, um, number. number of, what's our question? Belts. Yeah, number of belts, okay? So this is number of belts. If you are not writing this down right now, can you please do that? So something's got to be happening to X for it to equal 100 Nope, 1,111, oh my gosh. Probably making big money moves. 1,110 bucks, there we go, okay. So what things is he buying? Tell me what he's buying. Uh, Gucci slides and a belt. Gucci slides, do we know he's buying a singular belt? No, he's buying big belts. He's buying multiple big belts, okay? So how much are the slides? 210. 210, so no matter what happens, 
He's spending 210. Boom. Okay, so plus 210. How much are each belt is each belt? 450. 450, good. So I'm getting ahead of myself. Do we know how many sets of 450 he spent? Maybe. Do we know that from our word problem though? Not yet. We're going to find that out and see if that's true though. So I have to multiply 450, which is the cost per belt, times however many belts he bought. Okay? So again, X represents number of belts times 450. All right. I'm going to rewrite mine. I'm going to get the color off to the side because I wrote underneath it. So I have 450X plus 210 is equal to 1,110 bucks. This is our equation. Which you guys know how to do two-step equations. You got this. What do I do first? Minus two that is minus two ten. What I gotta do to one side? Gotta do the other side. Gotta do the other side. Alright, so these cancel out. What does eleven? I have the hardest time saying this number, you guys. What does one thousand one hundred and ten minus two ten equal? I would I personally only need to use calculator. 800 and 900. Close. 800. 900. 900, okay. So we're left with 900 on that side. What is now left on this side of our equation, 450. Emily? 450x, okay. So again, we have 450 is the cost of the belts times the belts. Away. Nope. Divide it. Because we have multiplication happening between 450 and x. Oh, he bought um, nine belts. Oh, um, yes. Nine. Yes. Okay, you got your own. How do you not buy nine belts? 900 Five, divided by 450. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Two. Two belts. She right, she right, it is two. No, yeah. So just two belts. I mean, Charlie's got deep pockets, but maybe not more than two belts deep. Why? I love two, three belts. My pockets are definitely way shorter than this. <laughs> My belts are like on sale American Eagle for like 15 bucks belts. All right, okay. 15 bucks. 15 bucks. Dude, I, I, I hate... I get a big bag of Skittles and some Starburst and a soda for that. I know. I bet you could buy all of that for less than that. Yeah, you can. Yeah. No, because I buy, like, multiple bags of Skittles. I have, like, oh, a thousand well, yeah. bags of Skittles. They're just or they're jumbo. Oh, they're jumbo. Oh, they're jumbo. Is it? Oh, like a dollar. Oh. Love it. Okay, so do you guys see how those something is happening to X here? It's not. It doesn't just start off by itself. So that's what I want you guys to kind of work on your equations to turn them into, okay? So does one of you guys want to volunteer to work with me on the board for an extra example? You want to do yours with us? Okay. Can I erase this? Sure. Everyone got this down? Yeah? Okay. Can I have that brain? All right, so we're going to do Malachi's as another one. All right. So here we have a word problem about our pal Malachi. I thought I did pretty good on this, right? Tyler didn't like his, but at least I think Malachi liked his. Can someone read this out loud? I like the golf part. Me too. <laughs> Malachi, you want to read this out loud since it's about you? Malachi's team scored 35 points during the first half of basketball game. During the second half, Malachi made a ton of threes. By the end of the game, the team had a total of 68 points. How many three-pointers did Malachi make it? He was the only one making the buckets. All right. Oh, I should have changed it to buckets. Okay. Oh, it says buckets. Oh, basket. It says baskets, but I like buckets better. It makes it more like something you guys would say. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So what's our question? What do I underline? What's over? 
Uh, not how many points. Three pointers. Three pointers, okay? So how many three pointers did Malachi make? Alright, so that's the main part of the question. What are our important numbers? Malachi, can you put your phone away, please? Thanks. Emily, what's our important numbers here? 35. 35. 50. Uh, yes, yes. Three pointers? Yes, three pointers is an important number. Okay. So, with that being said, what are our important math words now? So, what are words that lead us to think about certain operations? Emily? Total. What'd you say? Total. Total. Where is that? Oh, total. Yep, total. So if we have the word total again, where's 68 going to go? At the end on its own side. So we're going to have something equals 68. Okay? So I have to write down how you got my answer. Yeah, because we're, so you got, got the right answer, Malachi, but you need to write it as an equation now. So something needs to be happening to x, and you got to have an x. So what are other important words that show operations here? This one is specifically linked to basketball. It begins with an S. Shots. Uh, Shots made. Where? You got a charger? You want to keep on the Yeah. Not shots. Another S word that's specific to basketball scored. or like sports and scored. Scored would mean like we add that, okay? He got those points. So I'm gonna box scored. Not this game scored during the first half. During the second half. Da -da -da. Wait, how should I gonna watch this game? I'll put it on YouTube after. You put it on YouTube? Yeah, I have a YouTube channel. Really? I mean all it has is videos of me teaching classes like this, but... Are there like 20 moments in class? I think one of them, naturally, I don't remember which class it was, though. But... You can only have Charlie in one class. Okay. Comedy show. Hello, back to Mrs. Gossie's comedy show. <laughs> okay, so we have scored and total. There's one other thing that's going to tell us multiplication, but there's actually not a specific word that tells us it's multiplication. But it's a number, actually. Malachi, I'm going to ask you, because I think you obviously, you play basketball. That's why this problem was written about you. What are we going to have to multiply in this problem, you think? Um... Three. Why three? Why is why are we gonna multiply three pointers? Right. So per shot, like where do you have to be on the court again to make a three shot? Okay. Where is that again? <laughs> so outside of that line. Oh, okay. It should be so anywhere there. Yeah. That's Steph Curry's range. That's Steph Curry's range. Is there a shot from half court? Hello, Charlie. Is there anything higher than a three point shot? Like, is this, like, if he does a half court line, is they're that making a four? They're making a five point shot. Whoa. Four. That's wild. Half. Four. Half court. I literally just said that. Okay. What? I just did half. So, but if you make a shot outside of this court, outside of this line, right, you get three points per shot, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to need to multiply three. Or you can get an and one. What's that? What do you like? You don't know layup? Then you get hacked. Oh, like you, a foul? Then you, yeah. Okay. And then you score the bucket. Okay. That's called an and one. Gotcha. Oh, that's why the brand is and one. Yeah, because Shaq. Yeah. Okay, so we need to multiply three by something. And what is our question asking? What are we underlying? Oh my gosh. How many three pointers? How many three pointers? How many, three -pointers? How many shots? Okay, so we're gonna represent that with our variable. That's what X means. How many shots? Okay. What do we need to also add to this total that's gonna eventually equal 68 the 35. 
because that's from the first half. All right, so this is our equation that I now need to solve. So let's do that. Tyler, can you start me off here with step one? Take away. You're going to have to put it, you're going to have to change the kitchen and practice. Yes, minus 35 from both sides. So these cancel out, Malachi. What's left over here? You get x. 3x. 3x. Emily? Yeah? What's 68 minus 35? Can you help me out with that? Use your calculator. Come on. It's 33. 33. No. Okay. And? 3x divided by 33 equals 11. Not divide by 33. Sorry. Divide by? 3. 3. It's 11. Because I need to get rid of that. I need x to be by itself. So divide by 3 on both sides, and x does equal 11 what? What's our unit here? 11 three-pointers. 11 three-pointers or 11 shots. Yep. Yeah. Good. So do you guys see how things are happening to x here? Okay. Do you guys see how things are happening to x, and it's not just by itself? Yeah. All right, so you got to put x in your equations. And then check to which button. All right. All right, what time is it? 2.08. Oh, All right. Maybe we should just, like, get our homework instructor. Oh, actually, just keep going. Can we have homework? Your guys' homework is going to be your challenge problem. Oh, that's easy. So then we should just stay in class and, like, draw. Well, we're going to do either Emily or Tyler's problem. Can we do mine? Because yeah. I don't know what you mean. Okay. No, no, no. Let's do Tyler's problem. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tyler's problem, too. I gotta do the last one. Go ahead. Go ahead. Does anyone still need this? Like, Malachi, do you have this written down? Yeah. You playing me right now. You like pause. You're like, oh yeah. Okay. So why don't you write down the equation? You but I already wanna... got the answer out. Right. But remember, we're trying to work with equations where we have to have operations occurring to x, okay? Well, That's the whole practice. Operation. You did. But you don't yeah. have any x's here, you know what I'm saying? No, that's not correct. Okay. So on the back, can you write this, please? I'll give you a couple seconds to do so. I should be pulling it. And I think that was just a go. If you can do it without the whole issue I have with the gum thing is just like. It's disturbing. Like, you toss the thing, the canister back, and it just, like, makes a sound. Like, I'm fine with you guys sharing gum. That's not the issue. I'll toss it back. You just taste all of it. Whoa, whoa. She lied. I take two pieces. Just go there for lunch. Oh, why not? <laughs> okay, I feel like you should make an ASMR video with your chewing. Have you heard of those? Those satisfying videos? Like where people eat honeycomb? So nice. We are actually eating on honeycomb. Nice I thing ever. That's what David Warmack says when you eat honeycomb. So good. I don't... I like honey on my toast, but I don't know about it by the way. No, I... I used to like... Like, it like it's like a... You know how like... Say like you took honey, right? Yeah. It turned into like a crystallized and yeah. like a little bit crunchy. Yeah. I mean, I know what honeycomb is. is. Like, I, I know what it looks like. Yeah. But I just it don't think I like really it good. all by itself. It sounds really good. It beautiful. tastes really good, too. Because you don't really get the honeycomb, you just get the honey. Yeah. Do you like. Okay, are you done with this? Olive? Can you finish that? Yeah. Okay. Huh? Yeah. At one the time? No, like. Yeah, you eat the crunchy part. You yeah. Into it. Please make it it's organic. I was back in business. Alright, you bring the earring. Oh, it's a purple. Alright.
right, Tyler, take a seat. Okay. Malachi, you good? Every single person in our school. Yeah. Yeah. Why don't you put some ice on the Why don't you put some ice on the battle floor? No. <laughs> Alright. We probably have time for both Tyler and Emily's problems because they're just one step equations. How, um, was my, how many steps was mine? Yours was two. Yours was a two step equation. Well, I used the next one. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Alright, Tyler, can you read your problem, please? Tyler bought 30 golf balls before his season started. At the end of the season, he only had 13 golf balls left. How many did he lose during the season? Alright, important numbers. Let's circle those. It's already 17. I, I can do that. Anyway. That's true. But now we're going to write it as an equation. Okay. Well, why? Okay, you good? Are you just laughing at him? Yeah. All right. Important numbers. What are they? Thirty golf balls. What else? Horses. You have your own horse. All right, Malachi. Shh. Focus. What's the second important number, Malachi? Five. Thirteen. All right. Tyler, what are words that are important that lead us to think of operations? Ba is one, yep. There's one more. And anyone can volunteer. Left. Left. How many is left? Good. Okay. So our question that we want to answer, I'm going to put answer? that in red. I mean, he's right. He's got the answer. But he's got to write an equation for it. So how many did he lose? I 17. Don't need this. I did that in my head. Okay. So help me write the equation. What is X going to represent? 30. Nope, because I would write 30 for 30. 13. No, I would write 13 for 13. What is X for? Bought. Balls, you have left. Not how many I have left. Bought. Nope, I know how many he bought. 30. End of the season? What do you mean? Balls at the end of the season. Yeah, not, we know the total. He's got 13 left. That's at the end of the season. What do we not know? How many? Balls lost. How many he lost, okay? So these are ones are the lost ones, okay? All right, what's his total at the end of the season? 13. So something has to equal 13, okay? So what could I do to x that would utilize 30 that would give me 17? What would I have to do? Take away, okay? So 30, all right, focus, okay? So we have 30 minus x equals 13. This is our one-step equation. So Tyler, please write this on your paper. Oh, wait, wait, are we supposed to be writing all these? Yes. Because, again, I want you to practice solving equations using word problems. Because your quiz on Friday is going to have one one-step and one two-step, like your basketball question. And then again, that would be six. All right. Emily, what's the first step? Tyler and Malachi, pay attention first morning. I mean, minus 30. Minus 30. Okay, minus 30 on both sides. This is a good problem to do because these cancel out. What is left though? It's two. Yep, you'll be fine. X, but also, what is with X that I did not clear yet? The golf balls. Not the golf balls. Negative. The negative sign. I have negative X still. This negative doesn't just disappear because we haven't used it, okay? So we have 13 minus 30 equals how much? 17. Ah, close, but no. Negative 17. Negative 17. Can I have a negative x value? I can't have x be negative. So what's going to happen to both? Pay attention. Pay attention. What's going to happen to both of these negative signs? They're both going to change to positive. So x equals 17. That's why. Okay? All right. You guys are going to finish Vicky's problem, and you're going to fix any other ones that you did that don't use a variable. Okay? You mean onion? So Vicky and Anya are in the same problem. I had to use another person for it. Okay. So you're gonna finish that first problem, number one. Checks or strikes. And and I want you to do number three. So three and one. Okay. Those are the ones you're gonna do for homework. Okay. So nope. 
Alright, hope that helps.